Hi, math people. This is your EdTech coach, Steve Mosley, with a quick video on how you can use Nearpod in your math class, and more specifically, how you can use Nearpod as a math warm up. So, we've logged into our Nearpod account, and what we want to do is we're going to create a really quick warm up. So, we're going to go to create your own lesson in Nearpod. So, click on that. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when students do the lesson as well. So I'll be using another computer. So we've got our untitled lesson here. It's a blank presentation. Nearpod is, after all, an interactive presentation app and a darn good one at that. So let's go ahead and put a couple questions in. So we're going to add a slide. So click Add Slide. We want to add an activity for the students. They're going to be doing something. We want to click on the Draw It option because we want to see student work. So students are going to be essentially, quote unquote, drawing or writing down their work to their math problem. OK, so here's our blank template area. So what you want to do is you're going to click in the instructions box. And our instructions are going to be to solve the equation. So I'm just going to put solve there. And if you'll notice, right here, you got the little pie symbol. So math people, you're going to click on that. And you'll see that's where all of our math things pop up. So you've got your exponents, your operators, your angles, your functions, equations, and some others. We're going to make this really simple for the video purposes of the video. So let's just do 2 uh, plus, let's go 3 squared. So we'll go 3. And so it's here you want to hit the little superscript XN button. So we're going to click on that. And that's where you're going to be able to put in the 3 squared. And when you're done, turn it off, space equals, and there you go. There's a really simple problem. So 2 plus 3 squared. And down in the lower right, you're going to click that Save button. Let's do one more so we get some little bit of practice at it. So you're going to click Add Slide, Add Activity, Draw It. And again, you're going to be presented with the little instructions box up here. So we're just going to put Solve. And let's do four times, and let's hit the little pie thing down here. Let's do a square root. And again, like I said earlier, you have a lot of options here by going back and forth here on the little pie symbol. So let's do four times the square root of four. And then hit that equals, and there it is. So let's go to the lower right, click Save. And we have our little warm up. So we're going to click Save and Exit. And now it's going to ask us to name this. So let's just say it's Math 7. And we're just going to do that so we can go along. And of course, this is Math. OK, so we've got our little warm up ready to go. So students are coming in. And we're going to go ahead and launch the warm up. So there's our Math 7 lesson. Now we can either have it student paced where students come in and sit down and get to work on it right away, or you can lead them through it yourself as the teacher, and that's a live lesson. Let's lead the students. So we're going to click Live Lesson, and you'll see what this looks like. Now they're going to get a code. So on my other computer, I'm going to enter the code KXAVO. So students enter the code. It's going to ask them on the student end to put their name. So of course, we want them to put their real name so they can get credit for it. So Steve has entered the class. Steve writes his name and clicks Join Session. So when you're sure that, all right, everybody, you're in, you're ready to go, let's get this going. And so you'll see from the teacher point of view here, that we're awaiting a quote unquote drawing or we're waiting for the student to submit their work. In this case, we only have one student. If you had a lot of students, this would be populated with all the squares like this with the student name. So let's go, Steve is gonna solve it. So he's gonna go two plus three times three is nine. So we're gonna say the answer is 11. So Steve submits and as soon as he submits his answer, you're going to get his answer right here. So you go, all right, Steve, great job. Let's go on to the next one. Everybody's
completed it. Now, one side note, if you want to share Steve's work with the rest of the class, you would simply click on his box and click that share button. And what that does is it puts his work on everybody's screen to see. They can't edit it, but it just shows up on their screen so students can see um, a, an example of good work. So when you're done, you're going to click on share. All right, everybody, that's how it's done. Let's go on to the next one. Solve this equation. Square root of 4 is 2, so let's go 4 times 2, I think, equals 8. And so Steve submits that one. And as soon as all your students have submitted, you'll see their answer there. And again, if you want to show it, you simply click on it and show it to the rest of the class. You'll also get a central idea of how all your students are doing. Instead of trying to walk around, you can just simply look at your computer screen and you'll see everybody's work. So everybody's done. You'll click Nearpod. You'll click End Session. Now by clicking Reports, you'll get a report of what happened um, with this session into your Google Drive. But I'm going to show you what that looks like here in just a second. So let's end the session. Are you sure you want to end this session? Yes, we're all done. So let's take a look and see how the class did with these two questions. So what you're going to do is you'll go back to the lesson. You'll click the three dots. And instead of launching it, you're going to go to reports. So you'll click reports. You go, okay, at the end of the day or perhaps at the end of the period or while the students are independently doing their work. And there's the lesson. So you'll click on that. Here's our session, students one, and this is what your session report is going to look like. Now, since these were all draw it um, exercises, and we're going to click on that. But if you scroll down, you'll see the student's name. They did all the questions. It's going to tell you how many of them they did and didn't do. So they did both of the, of the questions. So let's click on the draw it tab, and these are your two questions. So you'll simply, let's see how Steve did on that first one. You'll click on it, and you'll see the little teeny drawing here, but don't fear. Just click on it, and you'll get the large representation here so you can see how all the students did. Okay? So again, that's Nearpod for math. Really easy to use.